I have a date. No, I'm not going to go out with a girl. I have a date for you. Sometime this year, this YouTube channel is going to be changing. Unrecognizably so. And I have the date for you in which it will happen. If you're curious about what I'm talking about, then stay tuned because it's a little bit of an important announcement. Listen, those of you who have been subscribed this year, they know the story. Sometime in the beginning of this year, this YouTube channel started becoming a little bit more popular. That's a great thing. Some of um, my followers even generously helped contribute to this channel, which allowed me a little bit of crowdfunding to work on this channel in my free time. And I've been working a lot, almost non-stop since spring. But I haven't released any of the things that I'm working on yet. Yet. This year was a year of tremendous improvement. I've upgraded the quality. We have a lot of new mini-series. We have editing. We have high definition. And I think overall uh, I managed to pull it off. Um, I'm getting twice as much as subscribers as, as I usually get. So that's a good sign. But um, 2019 was also a year of many promises. And I'm still working on completing these promises. So um, the date is going to be, wait for it, October. In October, I'm going to release my first amateur documentaries. My first, well, my first videos that took me really a lot of effort to make. And I seriously hope that you guys will enjoy them. You know, with the budget I have now, in theory, I could spend it on pizzas and energy drinks. But that would be a big spit in the face to the people who decided to invest in my content. And are probably doing it with the motivation to see it become better, of course. That's usually the main reason that you contribute to something you like. You want to see more of it and better. And that's exactly what I plan to make. So, um, that's just my little announcement here. Stay tuned and keep following me. In October this year there is going to be a big release. That's when I plan to have finished everything. Now I can already already give a little, uh, I can talk a little about what I'm going to make. Um, if you are on Patreon, then you are going to get a double upload of this video with a preview of some footages. As for the other people watching this, you'll have to use your imagination because, uh, you know, People who help me do this, I like to give them a little preview so they can see what I'm doing. Uh, first of all, you know the series Moth Cycles. Um, last year I made like this small documentary of um, where I re erase a hawk moth from egg to adult moth in captivity of the Dolbina Tankrai, the uh, Amur grizzled hawk moth. Well, the end result was really shameful, the quality. It was very crummy. It was very shaky, shaky badly edited, badly paced, uh, yeah, handicam video. I still think that the, the idea behind this series was good. I mean, the concept is good, like many people are interested in seeing the life cycle, but also how I breed them, what method I used. So I, I decided to revive the concept, but in high definition with editing and a narration. Uh, so the series Moth Cycles will return in October. I'm working on uh, several species now. Which species is still going to be a surprise? So basically these are going to be giant one hour long vlogs of me breeding insects from uh, egg to adult moth, the whole life cycle and uh, how I feed them, how I change their food, how I take care of them, how I pair them. You're going to see everything. Uh, for multiple species I'm doing this. It takes a lot of effort and I think one episode takes about six months to make, so uh, taking, it's taking really a lot of time and effort from my side. Second of all, for those of you who, do, who don't want to see uh, animals in captivity, we're going to have something for you too, and that is documentaries. 
and I mean seriously amateur documentaries. Um, I'm filming several species of moth and butterfly in the wild and even a few uh, unrelated insects. I mean 90% of my content is about Lepidoptera but I'm also filming a few non-Lepidopterans which I hope you will enjoy. We're going to discuss the biology uh, in detail and just show you the whole life cycle. Last but not least there's the Patreon rewards. I promise to make a few special videos in return for your sponsorship and I'm also working on those. Those will also be released in October. I don't know if I can finish all of them in one year because that's like 10 videos, but uh, 10 long videos. But uh, I am working on a video where I am trapping moths with uh, bait like sugar and alcohol and see what comes up in one small mini series. Um, also the life cycle of the Chinese moon moth which I promised to make. And a few of the previous projects, but you'll see it will be a surprise. So uh, I really hope that this is the sort of content that people want to see. It's my first time doing such a tremendous effort. And I'm really crossing my fingers that it will pay off. The bad news is you'll have to wait for a few weeks, well, a few months. October is still far away, but you know, quality takes time and effort. So uh, thank you for sponsoring, thank you for watching. Just a small announcement, but stay tuned until October. And then there will be the big launch. Hey everyone, and thanks for watching Bart Vlogs, my random YouTube mini series where I talk about anything I want. I was very reluctant to do this and start vlogging because you see, I'm an entomologist from the Netherlands that usually films butterflies, moths, and other insects. And most of you have subscribed to see my YouTube content about biology and nature. Not to watch me vlog about random things. But I had a revelation. You see, I am a very opinionated man. And YouTube has given me a platform, an audience, to listen to my opinions. Now, this was hard for me to resist. But it also, it's also for the benefit of you. Because this was my revelation. In Dutch we have a saying, and it goes, Ik moet mijn ei kwijt. Literally translated, it means I need to lay my egg. I have a pathological need to share my opinions. And I'm the same because I'm very opinionated. But why is it for the benefit of you? Well, if I get to contain my opinions within one YouTube mini-series, that means that I don't have to vent them in my other YouTube content. That means if you are here to watch butterflies, or moths or other things about nature, then that's fine. It means you won't get to see my opinions when you are watching something educational. So to sum it up, most of my content is for you, the viewers, to see. But this mini-series is for me, because I need to vent my opinions. It's also a very good way to answer personal questions that all of you have asked me in the comments. And now I've given you, the viewer, a choice. Do I want to see Bart's opinions or not? Or do I just want to see the butterflies, moths, etc? So there you go. Thanks for watching Bart Vlogs. Like, subscribe and consider joining my crowdfunding platform, Patreon. Because for some reason my entire YouTube channel is permanently demonetized. And I'm reliant on crowdfunding for 100% to run this channel. Thanks for watching. Until next time in Bart Vlogs.